Mr. Trek here, we're in one of our wild vacations, but we're out playing with our ATVs and side-by-side -side and a motorcycle this time. We've got our toy hauler, and I'll show you that. We've got my 2012 F250, that's my main test truck, with this 7x7 CM aluminum flatbed. And it's nice having this flatbed like this. When I hook to the trailer, I can load an ATV off the side and not have to unhook the trailer. I really like that. So we do a lot with this unit here. This is one of my test trailers. Got the family, got my sons and their families out here and we're having fun. I'm gonna unload that truck next and I'll show you inside our toy hauler. Gen Y hitches, all you have to do is look at them. They're built like a bulldozer. It's all heavy duty plate metal. Make them adjustable hitches, pencil hitches, shock absorbing hitches with torsion, like a torsion axle on a horse trailer. These things will last you forever. You cannot find a better built adjustable hitch. This is a nice thing too about having handlebars. I can see when the handlebars are straight. I know the tires are straight. On the steering wheel, you know, you gotta make sure you know if it's parallel. Lots of times they're not. Okay, I'm gonna drive this puppy off. If I do a somersault. Well, here's our big toy hauler. This thing's eight and a half feet wide. The garage is 18 feet long. The whole box is 26 feet long. But this gives us such a wonderful base camp. Got a rubber floor, we can drive all these in. We got D-rings on the floor. This couch folds into a bed. And this here folds into a dinette. It's got a table and everything. And that one there turns into a grandchild. And mom's hiding in the bathroom. But here's one of the beds. We can actually sleep six in this. Plus, if you want to put an air mattress, you got it all. There's my picture of downtown Denver with the covered wagons. That's what this is. Our little covered wagon. We're unloading. Comfortable. Got air conditioning. Got heat. But I love this rubber floor. David just swept it out. <clears throat> we tie everything down in here. There's a great door. Spring loaded. And here's our rigs for today. This is my youngest son David's 1996 XL350 trail bike. And here's my good old 420. This is a 2014. And this is a rancher. It's got electric shift, five speeds. And of course we have all the racks and bags and all stuff we need. I put the Sedona ripsaw tires. They're very aggressive. I had to elevate a couple inches because a new snow plow I put on here. And this is the Pioneer, my Pioneer 500. It's 2017, we just got it this winter. And it's a five speed paddle shifter. You can go automatic or manual shift. Got the cover on top of the windshield we use in the winter. Love the roll bar and the seat belts and a nice flat seat. A fat butt like me fits perfectly. Nothing's in the middle. And then, this is my oldest son David's Rancher 420, 420 cc's. The Pioneer is 475 cc's. And this one at 420 is like my red one, same year, 2014, electric shift. And I tell you, these are, these are mono beam axles. They're a solid axle on the rear, both Ranchers are. Now the Pioneer is independent all the way around. I put 14 inch tires on it, it had 12 inch tires, looked like a roller skate. We've got all of our pads, all of our trunks. You can gotta see back here that a nice level ground. I take the grandkids for a ride. But this is awesome. And then our last one we have is a 2017 TRX 250X. It's a sport quad, two wheel drive, and it's a five speed. And it also has a centrifugal clutch. So you can either use the clutch or not use the clutch. But we're here in Walden, it's a north Sand Hills Recreation Center. 
And I love these Hondas because they all have gears. All of these are five speeds. So you can downshift them. The CVT, which I had on my Kawasaki and Polaris, coming downhill, you gotta wrap them up to gauge the clutch to get engine braking. But not on the Hondas. Hondas are gears. You downshift in the first, you just crawl down the mountain. And they got the best parking brake. Some ATVs out there, the parking brake's good for about one trip. These will hold you when you're on a hill trying to figure things out. Sometimes that parking brake can save your life. So come join us. We're going to climb the hills. We're going to climb the mountain, do a water crossing, slap a grandchild silly. Other than that, we're going to have a good time. So this is the crew, the Helmet Gang, and the three ATVs we have, the side-by-side -side two ATVs, making all this noise so I can't talk, but that's okay. What? I don't want to hear them either. And this is our new unique Typhoon H. We're going to fly this in the sand, above the sand, and see what we can find out. Yeah, I should have. Okay. What are you going to do? Here
This is where we lost our unique H, our six propeller chopper, our drone. Got it up in the air, got it out of sight, watching on the camera screen, and we lost our RF signal, then we lost our Wi-Fi signal, and wouldn't respond, and we ended up running out of battery. I had the landing gear up, so wherever it landed, it crashed, never to be seen again.